Served as just a rejection for the men's rights movement. I thought it was just a big national conference for more feminine men. Yes, it was a conference of men, but not all feminine. Nomas covered and served for a lot of things, such as pro feminist, gay affirmative, anti racist, and enhancing male lives, and advocated mostly for the equal rights of women socially, politically, culturally, and personally. But what do they look like today? Today, the organization is guided by a national council who is now welcoming both men and women in the group, and utilizes the statement of principles guided on anti-sexism and pro-feminism. I also read online about a group called Venice, who are men who support the women's movement. But what exactly do these men do to support the women's movement? Well, actually, this group is the exact opposite. Meninists mock feminism. This group supports ideas that engage your women, but also they only recognize two genders. Unlike the Meninists, pro-feminist men believe that the idea that women should be paid in equal to men for doing the same work and should be offered the same job opportunities as men too. To piggyback off of that, they are opposed to the glass ceiling and the oppression of women's ability to advance and excel in the workplace. Well, Meninists just suck. This is all very accurate information about pro-feminists, but we are just scratching the surface. There are a variety of other organizations and people who serve as activists for feminism. Yeah, think of all the famous men who are pro-feminists. For example, Daniel Radcliffe. Oh my gosh, I love Harry Potter. Uh, Patrick Stewart, the bald dude from Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, David Swimmer, Ross from Friends. Yes, Will Smith, dude, the Fresh Prince. John Le and John Legend, too. Oh, uh, we made it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and the list keeps on going. These are all males who have actively expressed their support for feminism in some form. Let's not forget about Barack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also let's not forget about the male doctors and philosophers who express their advocacy through articles and proposals uh, on the subjects as which um, Michael Flood and Michael Messner and as earlier mentioned Michael Kimmel, a lot of Michaels, but they're all involved in men's studies and pro-feminism. Messner mostly covered and researched violence against women, including domestic violence and the effects of pornography on young people. And also he talks about practicing safe sex as well as the men's movement backlash of theirs uh, towards feminism. And Flood researched gender and gendered sports, including women being equal to or greater to greater at sports that were originated for like male dominated sports. In addition to those huge activists, some other figures include Jackie Katz and Tony Porter both of whom speak on masculinity and preventing violence against women. Jackson Katz is largely known for initiating the men's and men in violence um, prevention. Tony is known for his work with the No More campaign. No matter what campaign the pro or program these men are involved in, they both strive at making a difference in the world of feminism. So this is all what it means to be a pro-feminist? I mean, I think I get it now. Like, it's just men who advocate and 
who advocate services and activists for equal rights among the genders of verbal for reasons. Correct. And that concludes our session on the pro-feminist men movement on In the Loop. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>